and I believe it was 2,4-dimethyl. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, 2,4-dimethyl, 2-pentene. So as we um, draw out this to start with, we can take it all apart. So we've got a pent as my base. So one, two, three, four, five. Ene means my double bond is somewhere. And the two tells me it's on the second one. So here's my double bond. Oops. There is my double bond. And then I've got two methyl groups coming off of it. One on the two and one on the four. So I've got a CH3 here. And then I've H, H, H. So this is just where we're starting with. So this is before we've done the addition reaction. And we said that an addition reaction is going to break the double bond. So if we break that double bond, we're going to get two radicals. And when we say that it's a polymer, that means that the radicals are going to keep bouncing off of each other. We're going to keep making more and more of them. So um, the easiest thing for us to do is to redraw this whole thing as a radical, but where we're focused on those two carbons. So what I'm going to do is say... Let's do some different coloring here. I'm going to do this carbon stuff first. So we have carbon here, and then I have a CH3. And I've broken the double bond, so it's just a single bond there. And we're going to have a radical that's going to be able to bond with more monomers that are radicals. And what's left is this CH3 here which to save some space and time, I'm going to do a semi-condensed and I'm going to say CH3. So I just moved it from being on the left side of the carbon to below the carbon because intuitively I know that I want a radical on this side because I'm thinking about all of my radicals lining up on one line. And so now I'm going to do that same sort of thing, but with the stuff that's attached to this carbon, and there's a whole big mess attached to that carbon, isn't there? It's crazy looking. So I want this carbon, the one that's attached initially during by the <coughs> double bond, singly bonded, so we're going to say that it's a radical. But then I have all this other stuff. So the easy one is this hydrogen. So I'll just put a hydrogen here. But all of this is coming off as well. So we have first this CH, but that CH also has a CH3. And it has another CH3. <coughs> yeah, sorry, it's weird that I'm condensing it this way. But I've just taken apart this molecule or not taken apart, but written it in a new way. So here's my CH, then my CH3, and then my CH3. Yeah, so now this would be one portion of my monomer. And I want that to repeat for three more times. So I'm going to just do, do go like that, and like that, and I know that this is going to go on for some amount of time, so it'll all be in a bracket with an N on the end. And then I can start just repeating this over and over again. So my first carbon that I had written here is now bonded to the first monomer. And this is going to be drawn ugly to start with, sorry. We've got C, CH3, CH3. And then we have it bonded to the second carbon in it, which has got a CH, CH3, CH3. And then it had a hydrogen below it. And then I need it one more time to show my third of the monomers. Um, C, CH3, 
CH3 followed by the big ugly one again, C H C H C H three and C H three and then it's going off that radical it's gonna continue on for some unknown amount of monomers.